was awarded a gold commendation for my actions in Afghan in 2013 and essentially being one of the first Guardian Angels to be a part of a green on blue attack and to we can successfully deal with the threat without loss of life to NATO or partners. We were the first dedicated, what they call Guardian Angels. So that's close personal protection for VIPs and high ranking officers and a sort, so that they're able to go around to the more dangerous parts of Afghan to conduct the work. Pretty important job looking after people who essentially most of the time didn't have weapons to look after themselves. We got about 10 metres out the front of the HQ building when we were shut up from behind from approximately no more than 15 metres away. But I've turned around and seen this man with a rifle in his armpits engaging us. It just went automatic, got low, got the gun out, returned fire and, and dealt with it. In that short amount of time that it took me to turn around and stop that threat. He was able to get off seven rounds, so out of that seven, one struck our New Zealand partner in the foot. And my good friend and corporal at the time, he had one round struck the butt of his weapon system and exploded up his arm, and he had two rounds. One passed through his equipment on the side of his body armour, and the other one smashed a part of the body armour. So calling them uh, the bullet dodger after that, so <laughs> incredibly lucky. I think there's a lot of not only history here, but connection for people, for people that want to find out more about their grandfathers or, or great-grandfathers or their brothers and sisters that are currently serving now. We watched each other's back and we got each other back safely and that's the name of the game. In the end is you want to do your job and everything, but more importantly, you want to get back with your mates in one piece.